Hi kids, it's Mrs. Frable again. How are you? Um, good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, so here we are. Uh, I think we're done with all of the uh, animals except for one. We're going to talk this week about uh, the last animal, the human animal that you guys are. Um, make sure you got all of the other mammalian stuff done from last week. Make sure that you took the quiz on mammalian orders. I know it seemed like a lot and I'm sorry, but I'm not because I want you guys to know all of the animals. That's been my goal the whole year. You guys, you're fine. You're fine. Get get done with the mammalian orders thing. But today, this week, we're going to talk about humans. And then um, maybe later in the week, I'll also pop in and talk about um, what we humans are doing to animals right now. Uh, but this video uh, hopefully doesn't go too long. Um, I might have to split it into two because there is a lot for me to talk about in terms of humans the ultimate animal. Are we that? I don't know. Let's look at it. But let's look at what it means to be a human, okay? Okay, so what's a human? I'm going to pop out, so I'm not on the way. Bye-bye. Okay, humans are in, uh, of course, we are mammals, and we uh, are in the order primates, or primates. Um, we are in the family hominidae. 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 That family includes all of the great apes in primates. So not monkeys. These are the great apes. And all of these um, originated in Africa. So the uh, other species included in the group Hominidae. I'm never going to say it right the first time. And I've been saying that word for 30 years. Hominidae. Our closest relatives include gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, bonobos. And if you get a moment, please go um, Google image a bonobo. They're really cool. Um, they are they look like a mix between a chimp and a human. They're they're pretty cool. And then of course humans. We are a great ape. We are a hominid. Okay. Um, and these are, of course, those that I was talking about a second ago. This is a, a bonobo or bonobo, a chimp, gorilla, orangutan. Okay. Um, and our, our evolution and our common ancestry with them um, looks like this. So our closest genetic relatives are chimpanzees and bonobos. We share 99% of our DNA with them. And they're they're not, they're significant differences, but not many differences. And orangutans actually split off from um, our evolutionary line um, a long time ago, about 9 to 13 million years ago was our last common ancestor with orangutans, 8.5 to 12 million years ago for gorillas, uh, 5 to 7 million years ago for uh bonobos and chimps, and then they split from each other. So remember, that's how evolution works. It's not, we didn't evolve from apes. And I just want you to see, we didn't evolve from apes, okay? We share a common ancestor with them. And we see that both in the fossil record, and we see that in genetic molecular records. We can see our evolution from common ancestors with them. So what makes a hominid a hominid? I'll go again. Okay. A hominid has, and these are all of the great apes have these, large body size compared with other primates, okay, um, with big robust forearms. We got the Popeye forearms and big shoulders. Uh, we have digits, meaning fingers, with flattened nails. That means we don't have claws. And we all have opposable thumbs. Our thumbs can cross a, across our palm, okay? Um, we have no tail. We have a large brain case and a very prominent face and jaw. Humans, not so much as the other hominids, um, but uh, but our jaw is more prominent than, say, um, canine or feline animals, okay? Here's some more fun facts. We are omnivorous. That means primarily eating fruit and foliage or plants. Um, we are good all... all we're not terrible climbers. We just don't have a lot of upper body strength compared to the other hominids, um, but all of them are very good climbers. Um, 
lots of social behavior. They all live in family groups, except for orangutans. Um, make and use nests. Our relatives sleep in nests. Sorry about that. And um, hominids generally have a single um, baby at a time and raise that baby for a long time. I mean, come on, how many of you are still at home? And you're like, what, 17, 16, 18? And the other hominids are now concentrated in mostly uh, this Afri this area of the world, part of the world, mostly in Africa, chimpanzees and bonobos cross range uh, and, and gorillas as well. They all live in the jungles, in the rainforests in Africa. So technically gibbons, siamangs, and orangutans are all great apes. Gibbons and, and simmings are just a little less great, I guess, uh, but they are like the, the Asian representatives for the great apes. We have African and Asians. Okay. Now then, the special great apes, the hominins. This is the clade of animals that led to humans. Okay. There are quite a few extinct species of hominins um, and this is the taxonomic family that includes humans both extant which means living now and extinct done okay sorry I needed a drink hominin are classified as a tribe of hominids a group of great apes that includes two genera remember ger genera is more than one genus there are two to three genera of hominins australopithecus or paranthropus this there's a lot of research going on right now they keep splitting and reorganizing hominins okay those are all extinct um fossilized hominins and then the genus homo that should look familiar right there is only one extant species of the genus Homo, that is Homo sapiens, but there are quite a few extinct genus or extinct species of the genus Homo, and I'll go through a few of those. Okay, The characteristics of being a hominin, of being a human type great ape, is they are bipedal, that means we walk on our hind legs exclusively, and that comes down to a few different things I'll go through in a minute. Uh, they have large brains, larger than the other great apes, and we are, are omnivorous. There are a few other specific characteristics that I'll go through on the hominins. Okay? Now then, our family tree, human evolution. We did not sprout from the ground looking like this. The human evolution on the branch of great apes that we have traveled on for the last few hundred million years is complex. And anthropologists, which are people who study ancient humans, they are finding new evidence all the time about our ancestors and reorganizing our family tree. So what I'm going to show you is just kind of the basics. Um, it's, it's a fascinating branch of science, I think. Okay. I'll see if I can get through the first genus today. This is a very weird and general family tree. Okay. This was our last common ancestor with the other apes. So we all started, the common ancestor for all apes was an animal called Dryopithecus. And then um, there was about 5 million years ago, there was this big split between um, modern apes and then all of the lineage that led to humans. So the human lineage has one huge split into two major groups, Australopithecines, which are big robust humans that really never left Africa, and then the genus Homo. And those are the, those are the ones that left Africa and eventually led to us. So I'm going to go through some of those. Okay. Again, um, size wise, we've always not really been huge, but, um, we're as modern humans, we are not the tallest human to ever have existed. Okay. So where did this all start? 
the first identified truly bipedal human, and that's what they kind of go on, is humans are fully bipedal. We don't knuckle walk at all, and that comes down to a difference in the structure in um, both the pelvis and the skull. It's your spine. It's how your spine articulates to your skull and how your pelvis articulates to your femur. That's what makes a human a human, okay? The first uh, specimen that we see that um, in is a species called Australopithecus afarensis, which means southern ape from the Afar region. Oh, fancy. Um, this specimen my have seen, which was very exciting, it was nicknamed Lucy, and she lived in Africa, in East Africa. She was part of a whole troop, a whole species, a population. Uh, 3.9 million years ago, we see them kind of peter out about 3 million years ago. Um, Afarensis um, had, again, that femur and skull articulation just at, at different angles, different enough that these were able to walk fully bipedally, okay? And that becomes very important in becoming modern humans, okay? And we can see this also in human footprints. These are Australopithecus afarensis um, footprints that were uh, preserved in volcanic ash mud uh, 3.75 million years ago. This is in Africa, pretty cool. And again, they see that the toes are parallel, so it doesn't really look like a fully modern human. But if you look at an ape footprint, very different. So we can see that the way that their foot is striking the ground and the way their toes are aligned, they were walking fully bipedally. Okay. After Afarensis, there were quite a few species of Australopithecus hominins. Okay. Um, they think that, um, that afarensis populations, that there were two major populations isolated from each other that started diversifying and evolving into Australi more Australopithecines, so sorry, and um, Paranthropus is a new genus. These were more robust, mainly herbivorous, big, big animals, human animals. And then the other genus was Homo. This is the humans, and we see these, the tool use, culture, and these are the ones that started migrating out of Africa. Okay? In Africa, we find all of these different sites with different um, hominin um, settlements and fossil sites. Okay? So the Australopithecines, these were the more robust branch of the humans. Uh, they exist in the fossil record through a, about 3.1 million years ago. We have Africanus, Afarensis, and then we have um, Australopithecus aethypicus. I can't say that one either, Robustus and a Boisei, and these were all big, robust bust ones. And then we get to the genus Homo, and I think that's where I'll stop this video. I will make another video because, holy cow, you guys, our story is long and complicated and, I don't know, fascinating, I think, as an, as an animal lineage, the human lineage is really cool. Um, I would I would highly recommend if you're interested in this at all. I've, I've got books, I've got movies, I'll tell you what to watch. But um, I'm going to end this video here. Please go watch part two and take notes and make sure that you upload them. Thank you. See you in a minute.